All right, guys, so I'm just chilling in the car right now, and I have this bumper right here. You can see my disgusting seat, but yeah, I'm gonna um, try and paint this thing today. Um, this is off the DA9, obviously. I'm going to uh, thoroughly clean it. I'm going to wet sand it, and I'm gonna work right here. This is where, like, uh, it's pretty bad. Just to like, get that filler down, and yeah, but man just been chilling in the car i am freaking lazy but yeah my back hurts but luckily i have my little stool so i can do this sitting down but yeah so let me get started oh and by the way guys i'm actually planning to do a rear interior back seat delete just to uh work more on the weight reduction but yeah so this actually came out pretty dang nice um I was kind of like, uh, is it kind of ricer-ish? But no, I actually like it. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put it back uh, pretty soon, but in a few months. But for now, I'm just going to rock it. And yeah, it's kind of weird because I could already tell it's kind of getting oxidized after being in the sun for like no more than eight hours. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, so I'm going to do the rear seat delete and that should come up pretty nice. So yeah, but I'm going to save all the parts and everything. And then who knows, I might end up doing a uh, black interior swap in the front. I'm going to find a dashboard and work my way back. But if that's something you want to see, uh, smash the like. But now I got to get this bumper out of here. I have so much junk back here. All right, guys, so I got it all clean. And it's a watery mess right here. But what's one cool thing is that I have a, a squeegee. It's like a small little squeegee. I just put a water and I can squeegee all this away. This is body filler and that's basically uh, dust. So I get my little duster the next day and uh, it just blows away. So it's like, I'm not really leaving anything behind. But yeah, so I already have this nice and smooth. I got this nice and smooth. I just gotta go in this edge a little bit and then I gotta get some of this loose um, primer off right here. I have some 320 and maybe in here a little bit and work in this grill next and I'll be done. I'm done right here. There's an imperfection all right here and all along this. I am not gonna get that. I'm just gonna paint over it because uh, this is not gonna look perfect and bumpers get thrashed and this bumper is just way too dang old to uh, try and make mint condition but yeah, but it does mean a lot because, you know, he did pick this bumper out and, uh, well, I picked it out and he grabbed it and yeah, so, and he put it on and everything. So it does mean a lot, but I'm just going to try and keep it, um, you know, quick and decent looking and everything. So let me work in this grill area and, um, I'm going to prep it for paint. All right, guys. So there it is right there. I'm just going to go over some spots with uh, 400 grit and then it's going to be uh, ready for primer and uh, paint and clear. But yeah, it's still kind of wet right now, but it's still going to go through one more phase of uh, sanding. And then um, I'm going to end up painting this black right here over and I'm going to be painting the grill. Then after once it's on the car, I'm going to mask up everything and then repaint this black and paint the grill black. And then the lip is going to be black because I have a really nice one in my apartment and I'm not gonna be using the one that uh, came on the car originally. And then also I'm gonna go back to the amber lights. So no more clear lights that I bought. I'm gonna go back to the ambers that he uh, bought. But one was cracked, but it's still gonna be usable. But yeah, so I think that's gonna look really, really nice. The blue with the amber. But yeah, so let me get the sanding and uh, you guys will probably most likely see this painted today but yeah or in this video kind of excited for this this bumper has uh, never really been nice looking in our possession and it's finally gonna look nice all right guys so I got it all sanded down ready to go now it's uh, ready for adhesion promoter and finally some primer and uh, based off of my primer if I see that everything's looking pretty good like no huge imperfections i know that there's something right here that kind of sticks out yeah right there little indentation really not worried about it 
but uh, if it's too much, I'm just gonna work on it a little bit more. But overall, this is uh, looking pretty done. So the thing though is that the Integra has a dead battery and man, I do not wanna uh, jumpstart it. So I'm just gonna try and paint the bumper like this or stand it up like where it's like level and uh yeah just try and do it like that but overall it's looking pretty good right here there's a lot of imperfections but all this is just gonna be a satin and it's not gonna look as bad and uh it's a bumper too so it's not gonna be uh perfect so let me uh get to painting and i'll update you guys as soon as i get started all right guys so the younger ones helping out the older one so let's uh get this thing going in a way wrong car got it beautiful all right now let's um disconnect all right guys so i got it everything's looking pretty good all i have to do is just uh, mount the bumper and then i'm going to uh mask up everything using this uh plastic sheet that i have and yeah man it's kind of weird looking at this car compared to my other car because uh the rsx has uh probably four door dings and this one has about a million. So you can't really tell on camera, but man. Yeah, it has a lot of little ones, but sooner or later, I'm gonna do the full paint work. I mean, full uh, body work and paint, but just to uh, get the, you know, this paint on here, looking this nice, you know, for what? A couple hundred bucks is not bad at all and i'm very grateful for era paints and uh their paint is going to be on the bumper so that's gonna be kind of cool i also have another uh can that i'm going to be using for this fender and to touch up some of this over here because over here there was like some bleed through and yeah so this is going to be one can and one can but i'm actually thinking maybe i should do the the spoiler too, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. But we'll just see how things go. But yeah, so. Yeah, there's a massive one right there too. Door ding right there. All right, so let me get the bumper and um, get started on this. All right, so there it is right there. I'm gonna uh, end up closing the hood, then putting the wrap around, and then I'm gonna put the bumper and spray it like that. But yeah, hopefully everything goes good because it is uh, kind of windy. And as soon as you want to paint, the wind has to come always. All right, so there it goes right there. I like how this car is like very low and wide compared to the RSX where everything's just kind of uh, more narrower and more up. This one's just like more exotic looking. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm gonna tie this down a little bit more because I'm gonna try and get paint under there on the side as much as possible. Kind of weird how it's fluctuating like that. Doesn't really have a rough idle, not really. I guess that's air or something or so yeah so right here it's going to kind of be a pain because there's less light right here wherever there's low light there's a huge possibility of a bad paint job and uh, yeah as far as coverage i think that's what happened on this side too with this fender i believe what well, just being here in general it's like not a really good place to uh paint but no choice it's got to uh get done but yeah all right guys so i got it one coat of the adhesion promoter. And yeah, so next I'm gonna put a, a light coat of primer, let it uh, dry, 
and then I'm just gonna build up the primer until I could, uh, I'm primarily gonna get all the dark spots, all the blue spots, and then once I get that, uh, give it one good coat of uh, primer just to get it all uniform, and then it's gonna be ready to shoot. But yeah, so hopefully the primer sprays out good. That's the only thing that's gonna be against me right now. All right, guys, so that's uh, four solid coats. You can still see some spiderweb cracks. Well, there's a bunch of imperfections, but it's all good. It looks silver, but it is for sure blue. I made sure to get all up in here. And yeah, it looks pretty dang good. I'm not gonna get in there, that'll just be a waste of paint. But I wanna uh, make sure I get in there little details. Coverage is pretty good. This is not bad at all. And you can also tell that there's a dent right here in the bumper. Right here is flat, but I'm not really worried about it. So I'm gonna get one more coat over the whole thing and get this thing in clear. It's gonna be kind of nice to have this thing in one color, that and this and then i'm just gonna uh sand down the hood and redo the hood again and just uh paint it black probably most likely it's gonna be uh satin black and yeah so that looks uh so nice man it came out so good that even though you know the whole primer situation backfired i still ended up just doing it anyways and just uh suffer, suffer the consequences later but who knows, might be good, might go bad, but we'll just see. I like this color so much, it's gonna look so good. All right, so I'll come back when I'm spraying clear. It's almost out. I made sure to get up here as good as possible because I already know looking down at this car is the number one thing you do. It's so low. So this looks really nice above. All right, there, I believe I'm out. Finished. So now I'm just gonna let this sit up for 20 minutes and then I'm going to uh, clear coat it. It's gonna be badass. Can't wait to get this thing back on the road. I just need uh, brakes and the coilovers and it's gonna be on the road. And uh, this is gonna be the daily. So it's gonna be pretty cool. All right guys, it's all ready to go. 2K, air paints. Man, I can't believe this is happening. I'm gonna put uh, the first coat of clear. I already have it punctured, everything's good. Wait, let me put on my mask. Everywhere. All right, so that's the first coat of clear. Looking pretty nice compared to how it usually always looks. I can't believe this is happening.
So yeah, so just gonna let this dry up a little bit more. This stuff tacks up pretty easy. Then I'm gonna go for my second coat. All right guys, so that's it right there. Just gonna let it uh, cure. And yeah, came out pretty good. Pretty glossy, let's see if we can get a close up. You could see those right there, but that's just because you're, it's a super, super uh, close up. But that's basically what you end up seeing. That is not bad. Got the whole thing right there. Nice run too. So yeah, so I'm gonna let this uh, cure and then I'm going to take off the, uh, the wrap and then I'm gonna go park it. And then uh, the next video you're gonna see uh, being mounted properly and then the lights put back in and I'm gonna be working on the headlights just to uh, clean up the buckets, put some hardware and um, I think one fog was kind of loose. I'm gonna sand, sand them down and polish them. And yeah, so it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna really, really uh, brighten up the front end. And then from there, I'm going to unloosen all the fenders, well, both fenders and hood. And um, there's nothing right I could really do with the bumper as far as like adjustment, but I'm going to try and adjust and, you know, bring forward the hood a little bit, it's a little bit back and yeah, play with it a little bit just to get the lines nice and yeah because I think uh, well the hood is popped right now but this top line right here it has to meet down here together like that much gap and right now how things are the bumper is pushed in and the hoods too far forward and the fenders are further forward than the, than the uh, hood so everything's just out of whack I tried adjusting it, but I don't know, something is tweaked, but yeah, I just gotta play with it a little bit more and get it going and uh, get it looking nice. I mean, but yeah guys, so that's gonna be the little video. If you wanna see more, smash the like and yeah, I'll see you guys.